So it's Mental Health Awareness Week at the moment. And I wanted to just quickly go over why uh, we need certain things to stay fit and healthy. So we want to maintain about 30 minutes to 60 minutes of activity five to six times a week. Now, what we want to be able to do is cre create a nice, healthy heart, strong muscles, and a healthy brain. Now, what we can do is use cardio and HIIT sessions to give us that healthy heart. So can we get blood pumping around the body as fast as can? Now, can we build strength? Now, why do we need strength? So strength is going to help with bone mineral uh, increased bone mineral density. Um, it's going to help with uh, high uh, metabolism. So if we, when we have more muscles, the muscles burn more fat than just having fat and carbohydrates in our body. So having strong muscles is really important. It's then going to help us with activities like running. It's going to help, uh, help us with activities with um, uh, climbing stairs, uh, getting the shopping. And we're going to be able to reduce the amount of injuries that we occur just gradually through life. How are we going to build strength? So what we're going to first do is increase the range of motion that our body has. Now we need to remember that structure dictates function. So whenever our structure is out of line, we're not going to be able to use the correct muscles at the right time. So we want to make sure that our hips are moving, our rib cage is expanding and compressing, and our scapula is rotating out and around the rib cage. If we've got these three real core things, we want to think these are the, the biggest amount of core that we have, all right, then the rest of the body is going to be able to function outside of that. So how are we going to do that? So in the warm-up and mobility uh, part of the session, I really want you to focus on shifting the hips, resetting the anterior pelvic tilt. Now we are all stuck in anterior pelvic tilt, just the way we breathe, uh, the way our rib cages are flared out. Now what I want to be able to do, it's not a bad thing necessarily, but we want to be able to go in and out of it, uh, an anterior pelvic tilt. That's what's really important. When we've had a go at that, we're going to get the scapula moving out and around the ribcage. And that again is going to help keep the ball in the socket so that we can activate the right muscles and tone down the lats or the pecs. After which, we're going to then build the strength element in our lower body. Now to do this, we're gonna use isometric strength. There's a few reasons why I wanna do this. So if we are, I'm presuming that a lot of people are just running at the moment, so they're gonna be in kind of um, a mid stance position a lot of the time, hitting the floor, lots and lots of impact at that range of motion. So we wanna train in, in the range of motion that we're gonna use so that we are gonna be stronger, you're gonna be better runner. So we're going to get really strong hamstrings so that we can uh, create a really good ground contact with the floor. The groins is going to be like our fourth hamstring, so we want to make sure we're building the strength in that region. And then the quad stuff, we're going to be using a front foot elevated split squat, and that's really going to open up the pelvis for anyone stuck in compression. The calf work is going to help us get a really strong foot, so every time we hit the floor, it comes back into us and then we've got the energy. Sometimes if we hit the floor and then we just, it's really soft, we dissipate all that energy that our legs have created and then we've got to catch up on the next step and it actually all becomes a lot more tiring because we've never had a strong foot contact. We've then got the upper body stuff, so we've got a bit of a push, a bit of a pull and a core work. Now, the, the core all acts as one. So we need our rib cage moving, we need our shoulders moving, and we need to have our lumbo, which is our spine, our lower spine, and our pelvic um, region working together. So lumbo-pelvic lumbo control. If you can do this session for four to six weeks, twice a week, you're going to be stronger, and you're going to get faster at your running. And I think it's an excellent time to be targeting these uh, skills. Once we've had a go at this block, the next block in March will be kind of a power uh, introduction to jumping uh, activity. If we've built the right ranges of motion and the right strength level here, we're going to be much more efficient when we get to the next level. And then on the next level, hopefully when we're out of lockdown, we're going to be adding speed, lots and lots of um, fast twitch stuff. Uh, and that, again, is going to be all built upon the foundations that we've earned at this level here.